Hi, atomic structure. There have been a number of theories about atomic structure. The modern accepted view is of a nucleus of neutrons and positively charged protons orbited by negatively charged electrons. So here's our helium atom. This is the nucleus. It's got two protons, positively charged, which is what makes it helium, and two neutrons in the nucleus. And these are orbited by two negatively charged electrons. Now, this is not to scale. If the nucleus were the size of the exposed lead of this pencil, the bit of the lead that you can see, and you held this in the middle of the room, and that represented your nucleus, then the nearest electron would be over by the wall. Now, atoms have the same number of electrons as protons, so their overall charge is zero. So we've got two positively charged protons in our nucleus and two negatively charged electrons orbiting our nucleus, so overall the charge is zero. Changing the number of neutrons changes the isotope, and we'll learn more about that when we do radioactivity. Changing the number of protons changes the element. Hydrogen has one proton, that makes it hydrogen. Helium has two protons, that makes it helium. Lithium has three protons, that makes it lithium, and so on. Changing the number of electrons makes an ion. So if I were to pull an electron off this helium, I would ionise my helium and I would make a helium ion. Now, electrons exist in standing wave patterns around the nucleus. Okay, So these electrons actually exist as standing waves around the nucleus. Some of these patterns are stable, some are not. A full outer shell of electrons makes a stable pattern. A thing called a full outer shell of electrons makes a stable standing wave pattern. The first shell needs two electrons to be full. The second shell needs eight. Now, helium has two electrons in its outer shell, so this means the helium configuration with a full first shell is very stable. Okay, thank you very much.